and welcome back to Bakersfield, Vermont. We got a lot done. As you can see, the container wall, it's growing. We are almost completely enclosed. We got a lot of work to do there. You can see the severe height difference that we have on that. We're gonna get that knocked down. We got a few more trees to, to knock down over there. But as you can see, this container wall goes all the way down. little step up there we have a gate here that was made for the bakery but you take a drive up there you can see the bakery is gone we tore it down now that took a little bit of uh, negotiation with the uh, owners of the bakery and a big big bag of cash oh and this lovely bag of cash but can't really put a price on being secluded if you're building a place like this can't have neighbors can't have a road going through so they are happy they are rich they are relocated somewhere else and we have security now we're going to keep this gate here good to have a second exit point just in case now we'll block it off make it more secure it's got the fence there but you never want to have one way to get in and one way to get out, just in case something happens. So we're going to get some more containers. We got to build this wall. You can see we're building down here, but here's where a lot of the new stuff happened. We got some of our productions put in. We have our diesel production. Our canola is growing, but we need to get ready to process that when we can. So we've put this in all this kind of fancy tanks a lot of chemistry going on here but we're going to be making our own diesel of course our seed maker here and we've got a heating plant here you remember all those wood chips that we got and we're going to still get from over there we're going to go in here this is going to produce electricity and as you can see we've got the telephone electric poles whatever you want to call them running electricity to our various productions this is going to be our production corner down here we're going to have different areas for different things this will be our production we also got a nice generator in here big massy generator just in case things go go south we're going to be putting those generators around this compound just in case we need backups redundancies that is what's important in your survival can't rely on one thing but we have seeds being made we have electricity being made from the heat and soon when the canola is done we're gonna have diesel now as you can probably tell we have stuff scattered everywhere along this compound that's gonna have to change soon but the reason it's all sitting out there and wherever it may lay is because we have to organize where things are gonna go as we said we got a production area over here you need to have a storage area, which will probably be back in that corner, maybe up there in the shop, somewhere in the back. We're gonna have an area for a field, which that's pretty flat over there. So that might work for inside the compound field so we can grow some crops, maybe some fruit trees. And then, you know, we got room over here still. So yes, we are gonna get this cleaned up. It is a mess, it is bugging me, but I'm gonna take some time to plan all this out. Did get a couple new pieces of equipment I want to show. We exchanged our sprayer for this beautiful thing. Now, the reason we did that is because the other one, it was a JD. And, you know, got chips on it. This one's got chips on it, too, because it's got the, the automatic spraying. But, you know, if you're going to rely on something, and if EMP goes, I'm not relying on proprietary software. This one, it's auto magic. So we've talked to the manufacturer. We've got a couple of boards lined up. We could put them in some uh, protected Faraday cage boxes. So in case something happens, they don't get destroyed. We can replace it. You don't need to call a dealership to get it fixed. Very important. It just looks awesome. The other thing is we got rid of our big Chevy truck. Man, that thing was loud and it sucked down some fuel. So... This thing is a more multi-purpose vehicle. We can use this for a lot of different things, delivering our water, 
couple of tanks for diesel whatever we're making much more maneuverable much better on the fuel consumption and much better on my ears and not the last but second the last piece of new equipment we got is this nice wheel loader now what are we going to use this for what aren't we going to use this for we got this nice trailer what we need to do is since it is october we're waiting for crops to grow our grass is getting there we could mow it make some hay make some silage for cow food but we're gonna wait on that till next month we think we can squeeze that in as long as the weather holds but we need lime production and this is going to help us with that we need to go pick up the rocks from the rock pile got it throughout these woods as i said before there is piles of rocks that we are going to crush into lime now we don't have our lime maker yet i think that's on its way bringing the truck in today tomorrow we'll see but we're gonna take the slow ride take it easy all the way down to our rock pile we got another wheel loader over there that's gonna help us lift all those big stuff and bring them back so join me when we get down there let's pick rocks so we made it down this far as you can see we've got a path up here I wanted to show you on our magic drone view just how the compound is shaping up because to be honest this just looks kind of cool so if you look there that is quite the compound you can see the containers backed up blocking us in protecting us we still got more to go on that but that is still it's pretty cool to see now you can see our other wheel loader we got back here it was a little more hefty than this one but you can see these rock piles are dotted through here we made kind of a little path we need to pick these rocks up get them crushed and start making our own line now we're going to strap these things on here this thing should have no problem picking these up Will this trailer hold them is the other question. Well, we're not going to get a ton of them on there, but we will get some. Some of these are bigger than others. I'd only get a couple on here. Well, I can already see we're going to need a bigger trailer for this. I don't know if this is going to pull it. Wrap everything down. Turn on some lights. See if we can get out of here. All right, we made it back. It took a while. Looks like they got the stone crusher put into place. That is a good spot for it. We're going to drop this trailer off. We are going to have to go get ourselves a bigger trailer. This thing is going quite slow and it only holds a couple. We're going to have to get us a couple more. Going to get the other wheel loader down here as well and start loading this up. Good stuff for us to do in the winter. And it wasn't easy getting this trailer back here, but we did it this rock is just gigantic i'm impressed with this trailer i don't think we can even lift it high enough to get it on that second side see if we can get it up on there hey well that's gonna be a fun ride back at least we got more room for stones now get a bunch of these loaded up and come back and Make another trip. Oh, we managed to make it out of there. Don't know if we're gonna tip or not. Let's hope not. I'm sure we're exceeding the weight limit of this trailer. That's gonna provide us with a lot of lime. But we'll take it slow, we'll get up there, we'll get some unloaded, we'll get some lime started. 
We made it back. And as you can see, while we were gone, we got a well dug. Put up our tank. Now we can get fresh water to supply our productions. Found a nice spot over here. Luckily, right by the productions. Now we're going to need more wells dug. We need one where we're going to have our housing area. So we can prepare our food, drink our water, take our baths. We'll get those later. They are out there with their divining rods right now, finding more spots. Hopefully they find one in the spots we need them. I think they will. But now we're going to get some water pulled up here. Because this requires water fresh into lime. You can see it turns on there. Back him out of the way. We don't need big rocks falling on this little guy. And we'll see if we can get some rocks loaded into the crusher. Try the little guy first. And you can see on this one nice feature, solar panels. We are going to be expanding on the solar power. There you go. Rock dropped in, rock crushed, making lime. There we go. We keep it full of water. We keep it full of rocks. We got lime. Another thing we can check off our list. Well, we're back here at the East Gate. We've got a lot done today. We've got rocks brought over. We got lime being produced. We got water drilled. We're getting to be pretty self-sufficient. Seeds, water, hopefully soon diesel. I did want to show you one last thing we got put in today. Because this gate, uh, we no longer need to get to the bakery. It's still here. Like I said, you need a second way out. But, you know, you just don't want a gate. So we've added these. You want to get in? You gotta get past those. And hopefully we got no trucks trying to ram our gates. That should put a stop to them. Not our only trick. Just one of many. I think it's pretty neat. But that is it for this episode. Until the next time, I think we're gonna get a lot more construction done. So join us then. Remember, if you like these videos, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching.